Hello friends, welcome to the Bill Learning Club. In this video, I will tell you how can you use the Django message framework. So, at first, see how it work and just type a false username and the password and now login. So, invalid authentication. Now, type the correct username. So, correct username is admin and the password is admin. Now, login. So, successfully login. These are the Django messages. So for this you need a Django project. So here I use a simple Django project registration and login. Inside the playlist Django tutorial for beginners, I told you a lot of things about Django. How can you create sign up? How can you create Django authentication form like login logout form and create login logout system with custom CSS with bootstrap. Okay, so just check this playlist. So at first open cmd and run the server and just type the local host in your browser and this is just simple a login and registration page and this is for login and this is login username and password so I just type the username admin and password also be the admin and just login okay so this is simple Django project I already told you how can you create login logout page and registration page like sign up page so just follow the all tutorial in Django you will learn a lot of things so this is a simple Django project about login and registration so here is a blog about Django messages I put this link into the description box Inside the install apps there is django.contrib.messages and also be the middleware so how can we use this message so let's see an example so just go to our project and just open it with any code editor here i use vs code editor and now go to views.py and here is the function for user login okay so when username and password are wrong then i want to print the password or username is invalid okay or authentication invalid whatever you can so for this you have to import the messages from django country so just type from django dot country import messages and here inside the user login where if user is not none and here is the else block for user is not none here is the http response so i just remove it and just type our message here so just type messages dot error so you have a lot of choice for message error and debug and info and success and warning so here i use the error message and then type the request argument and then type your message so what is your message for invalid authentication just type invalid authentication i just want to print this message into the login page okay so I just go to the login.html so this is our form actually and this form actually this okay so inside this form I just want to print the message when the username and password are invalid so just go to the blog and just copy this if messages if there is any messages then there is a for loop for print the message okay so you can go to the Django official website for message framework and just print it and just explain it. So if there is any messages and messages is what messages is this. So if there is any messages then there is a for loop for print messages for x in messages or for any variable in messages and then type the message and after the for loop there is the end if tag okay so just 
save it okay so this is only for print message and now run the server and now run the localhost and just refresh it and now type a false username and password and invalid authentication so here i use the bootstrap form so i can use also the bootstrap so now just type bootstrap messages and you get the class alert then alert primary for primary uh, messages then alert alert secondary for secondary messages you can see alert then alert danger for the uh, error messages so there is the info for information so go to the templates and now here i just want to use the bootstrap class because here in this project i use bootstrap so for this i just go to the blog and just copy this and here is already i defined alert then alert dash message tags message tags means info danger or success this and alert then alert dash message tags is the bootstrap class you can see here okay so now i just copy this for loop and here just remove this and inside message tag in if message tag i just paste this for loop okay so this is the bootstrap class and now save it so now go to the browser and just refresh it and for error message i just want to print like an error message the background is red so just type a false name and false password and login but it's not working why because go to views and here you can type this error message the message tags name is error but inside the bootstrap class here the message tag name is danger okay so that's why it's not working if i change this error to info it will work info message and now save it and i just print it like information so what is info and this okay so just like this so now refresh it and just false username and password just login so it has worked okay so now type the right username admin and password is admin now login so after login here i want to print another message successfully login okay so for this go to the login form again and here is login redirect to home and what is the home home is the namespace go to urls.py this is the home and this is for the index view and what is the index view actually index view is this this is the index html okay so when user is authenticated means this then i just want to print a message here success and just print it and just type a message so before type the message you will have to pass the request argument and now just type the message successfully login successfully login okay so now it will redirect to home namespace and home namespace is for the index this is the url dot py okay so just go to index dot html and here just do the same for this so i just copy this if message tag here and now go to index.html here after welcome i just want to print it so this is the message and just save it and don't worry about the code you will get inside the blog so just save it and run the server so just 
that log out and run the server and just go to login and at first type the false username and false password then invalid authentication then type admin this is the actual username then the actual password is admin and now login so you can see here successfully login now if i want to print error message like this so what i have to do so just go to the blog and here is an answer you have to change the settings i just copy it and i will explain it so now just copy it and now go to the settings.py and here just paste it so at first you have to import the constants so just type from django.contrib.messages import constants as messages so you can use this messages variable here so just type message tags equal message dot debug actually this is constant dot debug constants dot info constants dot success constants dot warning constants dot error and this message tag name is alert info alert info for debug this is also alert info for information this is also be alert info and for success alert success and this is a bootstrap class you know actually so alert primary alert secondary alert success alert danger this all are bootstrap class okay so just set the message tag properly and i just copy it and remove it and just paste the paste here so now go to the login html or templates where you can use these messages so here is the class for message tags so i already defined alert dash you can see here alert dash already defined so here no need to use this so i just remove it and now save it also do the same in index.html remove it and save it now go to views.py and here just change it to error so if invalid authentication i use the error message so now go to the browser and refresh it and just use false username and password click on login so here here is invalid authentication and message tags is error but the bootstrap class is alert danger so in this way you can use these message tags so that's it for the tutorial i hope you learn a lot of things from this tutorial about django messages and don't worry about the code i will put all of these into the blog and i put this link into the description box just visit the blog don't forget to subscribe the channel like this video see you in next video thank you friends